Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Riley Kapanya and yeah, thanks for being here. I haven't really done a YouTube video in about a year and a half. I think I made like two, maybe three. Um, but yeah, I figured I would give it another go because I've always wanted to do it and I've kind of just been putting it off and off and yeah, kind of forcing myself to do it. And here I am putting myself out here doing it. Alright guys, so I've done my eyebrows and primed my eyes off camera, so we don't need to worry about that. I will link any of the products that I use for that down below, just in case you're interested. But let's jump straight into it. I've got here the new Nude Huda Beauty palette. I've just taken it out of its packaging. This is what it looks like. It looks so pretty. I haven't watched any reviews on this myself, so I'm not too sure what to expect. Just got this one here. This is personally a palette uh, that I was really excited for because I love wearing all of these pink and more neutral shades. I feel like this one's a little bit more wearable than some of her other palettes that she's bought out. All the colors look so pretty. I'm so excited to try them. So I'm excited to try this one here. All the foils look really nice. That one is Daydream. All right, so this palette retails for $95 here in Australia and you can get that at Sephora. It is a bit pricey for an eyeshadow palette, I understand. So, um, yeah, let's see if it lives up to the expectations and all the hype. I'm going to get started. I'm going to jump straight in. Hmm, what am I going to use? I think I'm going to start with Secret. So it's just this kind of like matte shade here. And I think that will be a really nice transition shade. Transition shade, if I can focus. Um, yeah, good to start off with. Let's just go. All right, ah, dipped in the pan. All right. So not too much powder, I'm not gonna lie. Like I dipped in pretty heavy. And all we've got for the powder fallout is if it focused just a little bit there. That's not that bad. Cause I know everyone's so concerned about the powder fallout these days, but all right, let's jump in. Gonna put this one in the crease. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's just like a normal eyeshadow going on. Oh yeah. Too much to say about that one. Goes on very nicely, not chalky. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty pigmented, I'd say. Yeah, that's all sort of blending really nicely. Nice transition shade. Super pigmented as well. Now I'm just going to go in with Tickle. That is just this kind of like pinky matte one here. It's a bit deeper than the one I had before, which was this one. Just kind of bring that pink in a little bit more. I'm pretty heavy with this one as well. Why not just like put it all in there? All right, so I just went like right in there. It's like a little bit of powder fallout. But like, you know, I think all eyeshadow palettes do that, but like that's not that bad. You know, if people are concerned about that, like I went right in and you know, that's not bad. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Tap. <laughs> Remember to tap it. I just got that all over my eyes and now I look like I've been punched. But like, it's fine. Just blend it out and like it'll be okay. It'll be fine. Blend that out a little bit more. There we go, so there's no harsh lines. Okay, now I think I kind of want to go in with one of the purples. Um, so I'm going to go in with Love Bite, which is just this dark purple here. It's another matte. Um, and I'm going to put this 
in the outer V to darken it up a little bit. Let's see how this one goes. Tap, tap, tap. Just on the outer V. Okay, not really. You can kind of see that one. A little bit more. This is super pretty though. Like, it was Huda, so what could I expect, you know? Huda palettes are always pretty. I don't care what anyone says, I always like them. So I'm going to take that Love Bite as well, and I'm focusing it, like I said, just in the outer corners, and I'm kind of just bringing up a little bit up here as well. Um, now I want to try one of these foils. What one do I want? I think I want to try Fantasy. I'm just so intrigued by these like, come on, focus. Fantasy. I think I'm going to try this one and put that all over my lid. I'm so intrigued by these like big chunks of like glitter. Is it like silver glitter or silver foil? I don't know, but it looks cool and I'm really interested to see if that comes off. I'm just going to get started on my cut crease so I can put that foil down. Um, I know like, a, like some people know this. It's pretty well known. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go in with that fantasy. I'm going to put that all over the lid. I'm going to go in with a bit of concealer first. Um, it's a makeup hack. And if you guys don't know that, just to kind of like clean it up a little bit, I'll attempt to do a cut crease, but this isn't like a cut crease tutorial so I might not show a lot of that um, but yeah just putting a concealer down really like helps a foil eyeshadow or a glittery eyeshadow like stick to the eye a bit more I guess you'd say but I don't know why I'm saying this it's not a tutorial tutorial if I can talk um, it's a review so I'm just gonna do it and see how it goes Alright guys, I'm just going to show you what I did off camera. I just did like my attempt at kind of like a half cut crease, I guess you would say. I just kind of did that with a little bit of concealer. Um, just for the base for the foil shadow. I'm excited to try. I feel like the glittery, like the quality of the glittery pigments and like foil shades really makes or breaks the palette. So... And these ones are really intriguing. So let's see. Do I go in with my finger? I'm going to just go in with my finger. All right, now that I put that and did that on my finger, I'm going to swatch all of them now. Those are the swatches of the foils. They are looking so good. I'm going to try... I'm actually going to try Charmed. I thought I was going to try Fantasy. I'm not going to lie. I said that. But Charmed looks like the most pigmented and I'm excited to try that. So, if I wasn't on camera, I would go in with my finger. Um, so, why not just go in with my finger right now and do that? Because that's how I feel like I get the most pigmented. Almost pigment. Just go in with your finger with your foils. I find it easier. Let's put that one on. Whoa. That's pretty nice. Oh, I need more though because I like heaps. Damn, that is a pretty pigmented foil shadow if I'd ever seen one. That's pretty good. Oh, look, they look so nice. That's really close. <laughs> they look so nice. I am loving this palette so far. So I've just, you know, put that all over the lid. That was charmed. So this one here now I was really confused about like the big chunks of white in them and I thought that they would come across a little bit in the shadows um, they didn't too much but you know I'm, I'm not too fast because they were really nice anyway um, so yeah I'm loving this so far so I've just Oh, I will just go in and blend it a little bit. 
but what I think I'll do is I'll pop off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, and we'll go and do like touch ups, final touch ups of the eye. So I don't want to go in and go under my eye um, without having done the rest of my makeup first. So uh, I will be right back. Um, where's my palette? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do underneath? I think I'm going to take Spanked. Love these names. It is just this kind of pink or darkish pink um, shade up in the corner. I'm going to take that all under my under eye area, I think. Pack that on in and got to go the whole under eye. Ooh. That is Oh, so pigmented. I love it. Is that looking a bit much? Nah. It's looking good. Now in the inner corner, I think I'm going to take... I think I want to take one of the foil shades. I think I'm going to go Crave. Yeah, which is the goldy yellow foil. I'm going to dip in with my finger again. Because why not? You don't need a million brushes. Just use your finger. Put our eye in the inner corner. Like so. Whoa. Looks cool. Looks so cool. Now I'm going to take I am actually whoa Stop doing that. Now I am actually going to take a brush here and I'm going to dip into Bare, which is just the matte white up here. And I'm going to put that on my brow line. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, good thing it's called Bare because I can barely see that white shade. <laughs> But no, in all seriousness, I can't really see this white shade. It's not as pigmented as all the other ones. But I feel like white eye, white eyeshadows are hard to get right anyway. So really get in there. Oh, so now it's really powdery. Yeah, the only one I don't like is just this white one. Can't really see that one, but that's fine. All right, just gonna jump off camera one last time to do put some mascara and some lashes on, and yeah, then I'll have my final review. Stay tuned. So the final verdict on the new Nude Huda Beauty Palette, it's pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, for $95, it better be freaking amazing. And I feel like it was pretty damn close. The only thing that I didn't like was this bare shade, which was the white one. I feel like as soon as I put it on um, my brow bone, there was pretty much nothing there, so I'm probably not gonna use that one. Um, but I mean, all of the other ones I personally really love. I think the colors are so beautiful. Now, I know I haven't done an everyday look in this video today. I went a bit dramatic with the lashes and the really bold pinks. But I feel like in this palette, you can do an everyday look um, with some of the more toned down shades like uh, the ones down here, the more kind of lighter matte colors. Um, and this beautiful little pink up here. It doesn't look pink in camera, but it is more pink in person. Um, I feel like you could do an everyday 
palette or an everyday look not palette but an everyday look with this palette and then definitely something more dramatic with um, using all of the foils and kind of the darker pinks i think this is a really good um all-rounder i know 95 dollars is <laughs> really expensive just for an eyeshadow palette i mean at the end of the day it is just an eyeshadow palette um but i mean it is one that i would recommend i feel like you could use it day and night um and i think this is definitely going to be a real go-to for me so yeah really happy with this one all right guys thank you so much for watching we have reached the end of the video if you have made it this far thank you so much um for even clicking on this video thank you um, if you enjoyed it, please click the like button down below and subscribe for more content. I will be putting out more content. I am forcing myself to put out more content because this was actually really fun and I intend on doing it again soon. Um, and then yeah, also click the little new bell button, the notification, if you want to get a notification when I upload, that would be really cool. And I will also leave all of my social media, like my Instagram, Twitter and all of that blah 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 down below so um yeah have a little click on that and a bit of a follow and I shall see you next time thanks guys